How's it going you amazing Mobians, it's Jay and in today's video we are celebrating 30 years, yes 30 years of a very special blue hedgehog, it's Sonic's 30th birthday! And to celebrate we are going to look at our favourite classic Sonic the Hedgehog tunes from the 16-bit era. There are so many amazing songs, so let's get straight to it. Boop. It has been a roller coaster 30 years or three decades of Sonic adventures. We've had incredible classics on the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis. We've also had amazing adventure games on the Dreamcast and GameCube. We've had some questionable Sonic games. <coughs> heroes, Sonic Heroes! But overall, Sonic and Sega have given us incredible, timeless, and iconic lifelong memories. So, in today's video, let's celebrate Sonic's 30th anniversary by looking at 10, just 10, of our favourite Sonic tunes. Today's video is part of the Sounds Like Sonic Challenge by the amazing, incredibly super talented musician extraordinaire Susie GeForce. It is a challenge to celebrate Sonic music. You can either compose a remix or your interpretation of a Sonic tune or celebrate your favourite Sonic tunes and that's what we're doing in today's video. So let's take a trip back through time. This is one of the best bops from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's got a strong synthy melody that draws you in to this futuristic factory world. With a chunky fat bass, we're instantly looping through this production plant and dodging the dreaded pink water. It really sets the tone in this game and is one of our favourite retro Sonic songs. Some of the lost gems in the Sonic the Hedgehog sound selection come from the awesome two-player competition mode in Sonic 3. Chrome Gadget is definitely one of the highlights from the game, bathed in this futuristic jingle that sounds like a sweet blend of Sonic 3 and Sonic 1 in sound. It lures you into this anthemic chorus and down again as it loops. It's a great standout track that could have easily been used as a regular zone. As the first act in Sonic & Knuckles, or the first in a transition if you lock on Sonic 3, this track is a literal bop. You end up wandering about a lush forest full of bouncing mushroom and windy creatures. It's a refreshing take on the old classic Green Hill opener. And the best bit? The really chunky fat bass that pulls you along. And it gets complemented by a soaring lead that really fits the level design and mood just perfectly. Do all the second zones in classic Sonic games have the best music? One of the most iconic tracks from Sonic 16-bit era has to be the Flying Battery Zone, in particular Act 2. It's a delicious stomping rock ballad that takes you through the heart of a massive airship. And what about, I love about this act is the build-up. It starts off a bit mysterious with a soaring synth line and a chunky bass. And it jumps into that familiar lead rock line and it then dips back into a sort of spy feel medley. It is a true Mega Drive classic. This is where Sonic the Hedgehog 2 started to get hard, really hard. Scorching heat, sticky oil and an air of mystery. Welcome to the Oil Ocean Zone. This game had so many incredible songs and this zone is definitely one of the standouts. Swinging, driving bass brings you into the groove with an alluring Middle Eastern inspired lead that draws you perfectly into the vibe of the level. It's all brewed perfectly together with this galloping snare and complementing low synth notes. It's perfect. It's really hard to believe just how much power the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis Soundship had. Just listen to this absolute banger of a song from the second zone in the debut Sonic game. It's an absolute monster groovy bass lines with a romantic, slightly exotic synth line that swings along the top. And then suddenly you've got this sort of 80s disco that plods along in the middle of the song. It jingles away as Sonic tries not to get squashed. How can you make an ice and a snow level even cooler? Add a Sega track with a sprinkling of supposed Michael Jackson genius and we get the ice cap zone. It's an incredible 80s sounding disco beat with galloping bass and a frosty cold synth that sort of brings it all together. The zone was very challenging and very tricky to navigate but this sweet groove really helps you get through it. We couldn't be talking about classic Sega songs without a boss theme. One of the most epic Sonic songs ever has to be Doomsday Zone. It's at the very end of Sonic 3 Knuckles, you end up in a galactic space fight. It's deadly. An iconic scene of good against evil, Sonic soars through space to catch the devious Dr. Robotnik. It has become a staple of the Sonic playbook. 
but it first started in the 16-bit era with this menacing bomb. It's got an insane bass, you've got a sense of tension and a climatic finish. It is so epic. Oh, so spooky! Another absolute bop from Sonic the Hedgehog 2 has to be the Mystic Cave Zone. We're led into an eerie, scary cavern with an absolutely meaty bass line, churning away with an absolutely delicious groove. Then it kicks in the spooky synth that sounds like a perfect 90s horror mix with a sprinkling of mystery, magic and dance. A perfectly magical beat that is a definite highlight in the Sonic series. It's the final track and the aptly named Final Zone. It's still one of the hardest boss battles in Sonic ever, but this song is an absolute bop. You can really feel the tension through the stirring synth lines and the complimenting low notes that really drive this song. Armed with marching drums and a grungy bass, it's time to get dirty and save those Chaos Emeralds. It was incredibly hard to pick 10, just 10 classics on the 16-bit era. I could list so many more Sonic tunes, really had to filter that list. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you like these Sonic tunes? Let us know with a comment and share your favourites below as well. And if you enjoyed this video, this classic Sonic video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more geeky gaming Sonic and Sega videos, you may want to subscribe. And before you move on to the next zone, be sure to check out our exclusive merch, Geeky and Gaming Designs, voted for by you. There are a few designs based on your very favourite hedgehog. Links are in the description below. A big thank you for all your support. And there we go, just 10 incredible Sonic songs that we love and are so timeless. Happy birthday, Sonic. You're amazing. A huge thank you to Suzy GeForce for this amazing challenge. It's been super fun to put together and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.